Honey, my spirit guides told me many moons ago that only pretty people wouldn't choose to subscribe to me, and so far, I haven't been wrong. Howdy, girl. Beautiful Leo, how are you doing? Today I'm going to be doing your weekly horoscope tarot reading. So if you find any tarot messages that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know, Leo, how they resonate with you and in what way. Also, if you enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe, Leo, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot. And always I'm super appreciative of it when you guys, wow, uh, when you guys take that extra step to do that for me, Leo, as well. Remember to, to rely on your intuition, Leo, because remember, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't. These cards here, these tarot readings, my weekly horoscopes for you, Leo. They're just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective to consider about never making the choice in your life, Leo. So, all that being said, now let's finally get into your weekly horoscope tarot reading, Leo. So, I have these cards pulled out for you already. Uh, I pulled some cards just so I could see where it is you currently are at in your journey right now, Leo. So, we have the Page of Earth or the Page of Pentacles coming in for you. Then we have the world card coming in for you. <clears throat> Archangel Michael, uh, excuse me by the way, I had a burp. I'm trying to like refrain from burping or trying to yell. Uh, the world card Archangel Michael number 21 in numerology or number three, write down the number three rather uh, to look up later, Leo. Also, just like to make it be known that if you are open to working with archangels, depending on your practices and belief system, what you do is none of my business, honey. I just let you know your options. Archangel Michael is one to work with. He's offering his hand uh, to you during this week. As well as the, uh, with that one, you have the Archangel Gabriel. Same thing, same spiel with that. But also take note, the Empress card, number three. So three coming in twice for you. So three is my favorite number. So, you know, just complete bias in that. But just, you know, really emphasize uh, for you, Leo, to look that number up. And also with Gabriel. So I, I guess I can give a little bit more detail just as a side note. Archangel Michael is really good for adding a lot more structure, holding you accountable really such a good uh, archangel just overall to uh, get you in, on the right track if you're feeling lost. Gabriel is someone that gets you, helps allow you put things in perspective and uh, really helps you get in touch with your emotions in a more mature way of going about it. Uh, the moon card, Archangel Haniel, uh, number nine, which is a, is it nine? Like, what is it? Is it like a divisible? Three, six, nine, uh, multiplicated, multiple of three. Uh, so write down the number nine for numerology as well. Uh, but same thing, Archangel Haniel. This is part of the reason why I said, uh, wow, or is the reason why I said, wow, at the beginning of your reading when I was shuffling the cards, Leo, just because of like, you had all these major arcanas, all these archangels standing up, uh, ca uh, coming up to you. So it's something I just wanted to note. So now let's get into your general reading, uh, Leo. So how do these cards want to be displayed though? Because you have, you're going through a pretty huge transition right now, Leo, just because of all these major arcanas. So a lot of big things on the table for you a lot of big moves that i see you wanting to make with this page of pentacles here right but while in your process of going into this like dabbling i almost feel like putting your toes into dipping your toes into something leo this is when like a bunch of chaos ensued it's almost just like once you started putting energy into something uh new that you weren't normally doing whether it's related to this or not it just seems as if like the universe then took like took this as a sign of being like oh okay this is time for me to throw a bunch of stuff at leo right now so i feel as if we're going to be doing it like this all right so i had to get these cards in order to figure out how in what order they wanted to be told in leo if you want to know what's going on so we're going to talk about your page of earth or your page of pentacles first this card says good news about financial matters really good to have of course wanting to do something more challenging and a new area of study leo so a really good uh card to have 
as I said, I feel like this is the beginning part portion for you, uh, Leo. I feel like I keep calling you Aries, but I don't think I've called you Aries. It's just because I did Aries last, Aries uh, reading just before yours. So if I accidentally say uh, Aries, I apologize, Leo. Um, but yeah, I see you in this place, Leo, where now you, you know, you start dipping your toes into something, right? And so let's see some detail on that, see what's going on here. <laughs> yeah, something has definitely been going on for you. <laughs> uh, oh, Leo. So you have the Four of Swords coming in with the Queen of Wands. And then you have the Tower card, which actually was inverted for you, Leo. And so with this, this lets me know of where it's like <laughs> you're trying to really like it's almost like bless your heart leo you're trying your best you're really trying to create a new life for yourself i'm feeling but you're just dealing with so much resistance right you're trying to heal right with this four swords i see you trying to just keep things in perspective leo you're trying to be the bigger person in a situation you're trying to just you know maintain the highest vibration vibrational state that you can possibly attain uh, maintain while having so many uh, trying things happening for you, right? Uh, you have the Queen of Wands here, where this is the energy, Leo, that I feel like you're trying to exude, where you are actively exuding. I don't want it to seem as if you're, that you're not doing a good job at this, Leo. You definitely are. Uh, this card comes in of where it's like you're breaking free, um, where you're feeling, you know, this is how you get to... Uh, this new page of pentacles or not page of pentacles uh yeah with this page of pentacles it is the page of pentacles i apologize i'm out of it right now leo apparently ah as the page of pentacles where you're welcoming in that new energy you don't like this is you attempt attempting to do something new essentially is what i'm trying to say leo i'm sorry i'm trying to just get this out for you um <laughs> but this is what i was saying from what i just intuitively what i was getting uh, before Leo is with this tower card in the reverse now normally with the tower card this is where it's just like you're tr like I feel as if Leo you're trying to like set a match to something and just be done like washing your hands clean uh, closing off a chapter with something but with this being in the reverse for you Leo this lets me know that there's resistance with this that it's not as easy going there's something still clinging on to you uh, something weighing you down even though you're trying to start something new something from your past keeps trying to make itself present putting itself in the forefront for your current life right now so what's going on here i, I want to just show it to you upright so you can see the artwork of it as well but yeah this is like what it is you're like feels like past situations just keep popping up and that you have to deal with right this would be very much so like the unexpected X energy coming in again, very much so a situation of where it could be. Yeah. <laughs> so now we get into the moon card. This is where I say like the unexpected portion of it, Leo, because the moon card, let me read it off. Important psychic insights, uh, events behind the scenes and releasing fears that are holding you back. So with this moon card, this is letting you know of things that are, uh going on underneath like underneath uh going on in the shadows something that you're not quite privy to in the moment that you're not quite able to see or aware of so let's see what uh cards what detail we can get with tarot let's see what's going on with that all right so we have uh coming in here the six of pentacles with the justice card in the reverse as well as the knight of wands in the reverse so leo like this is like the uh stuff being revealed right now i'm gonna hold these cards in the upright just so you can see the artwork of them of course uh leo but this is a dynamic now of where <sighs> You're trying to get balance in a situation right this is where your thoughts are you're just trying to uh yeah, it's just like you're trying to get everything straight, trying to just bring balance and stability into your life. And with the Justice card and the Knight of Wands in the reverse coming in here, this is where I was saying of where it's just like that, 
gross ex energy that you didn't want to deal with like that ex uh partner ex friend ex co-worker ex job right uh it doesn't have i don't feel like it's necessarily romantic i just feel like it's like ex energy in the sense of where it's like you were trying to get rid of this from the get-go uh leo like this is something that you know you tried to break off uh on some level so and it just keeps coming back it keeps just like re rearing its ugly uh face or ugly horn at you right and so uh, all i can really say with this leo is just be on like you know do your best in being prepared for it right if I, because with the moon card it has implied where it's just like unexpectedly just coming up constantly as an inconvenience it's not something you can quite be prepared for in the moment leo but with this you know you can kind of like gear yourself up at least into being like all right you know in this x energy being present let me make sure to be prepared for it so when it does pop up you're not as triggered by it and you can uh take a quick like a firm grasp of it and not uh allow the situation to spiral spiral you in whatever which way right because then you know you allow the situation to build you right because then you have the empress card coming in uh lavish abundance giving birth to your dreams and nurturing yourself and others so really uh leo spirit is really trying to have you maintain this energy of just being like oh nope we don't mess with this honey we're gonna keep this x energy and maintain it into the past we don't want to be dealing with it anymore so naturally let's see what uh details we can get with this leo mm -mm. all right so we have the Ten of Cups for you with the Queen of Swords, as well as the Ten of Pentacles. So uh, this is the energy that they're asking you to really focus on, uh, Leo. I can't help but feel as if this is more so like a sign, Leo, of where it's like, don't entertain any i mean i feel like most people can under like i don't want to say that right if you if you if you were unsure this is i guess more so like a message for my leos that are just like oh like should i not should i give this another chance right is this a sign from them coming back into my life in this way uh, or being consistently present in my life is this a sign for me to let, the, let it back in to uh give it another chance right this is a sign of being like absolutely not honey and let me explain why because this queen of swords here comes in as the very firm uh boundary setting right this is a person that was hurt and then had to put boundaries up or protect themselves in some type of way because of that hurt right so there's purpose there's reason as to why you kind of isolated yourself took yourself out of a situation in the first place leo and they're telling you to focus on your ten of pentacles and your ten of cups your personal like what actually fulfills you what makes you happy what feeds into your emotional health your stability your financial health leo think about weigh out the pros and cons right we talk about things being out of balance for you and where your attempts at trying to balance things out with the six of pentacles maybe the way to like put it into perspective neo is just being like all right is this x energy is this person is this old thing whatever going to feed this energy for you in the now or in the future you know more so i want to just say in the now because looking at someone like especially if it's about a person leo someone's potential does not mean they're just because you can see someone's potential or just because someone has a high potential doesn't mean they're ever going to live up to it doesn't mean they even want to live up to it or try to even so just because they have that potential you know don't bank on that honey see how it is they would provide to you in the now because you only get to your future by working on your nows does that make sense so uh then we have the world card archangel michael uh yeah i feel like we talked about where i was saying i i just really want to hone in i guess on the message again of where it's just like those old chapters those chapters ended for a reason don't give it another chance leo i'm going to be done harping on it but yeah i just wanted to, it just kept popping up i couldn't move on until i said that again uh this card says a job well done joy contentment and gratitude the path towards enlightenment yeah this is kind of like a card of just being like stay the course leo uh, right? You know, you're in this path, the world card talks about completing cycles and starting new cycles and things in your life and can, you know, just going down your path. You don't, the way to progress down a storyline isn't by regressing and going back 
several chapters. You continue going forward in chapters, adding more chapters to that book, reading more chapters, right? You have to put, you have to close off chapter 22 to get to chapter 23. Right? You have to close off chapter 2 to go to chapter 3 if you're going to talk about your numerology number. So let's see what's going on with that world card, Leo. Let's see if we can get any more detail on that. Pull this one too, and that one. So you're getting a bunch of extra cards, Leo. Let's see, let me get these looking right for you. Alright, Leo. So now for your world card, did I even, yeah, I did read off your world card. I'm a mess, Leo. Uh, you have four of wands, king of cups, nine of cups, temperance card, and the ten of cups following you. No, it's another card. Yeah, there is the moon card <laughs> as well following you. A lot of extra cards. So a couple cards following you. Um... What I would gather from this, Leo, is that I know this is not going to be the most, like, feels good message, but I have to be honest to my messages, Leo, right? I can't just promise rainbows and sunshine to you if I don't see the rainbows or the sunshine quite yet. Quite literally, I see the moon <laughs> instead of the sun. Um, but it does mean it's a bad thing. I just get this sense, Leo, of where... You're going to be by yourself for a little bit. This is a time of where you're probably not going to feel like people are understanding you or people even care to understand you. You kind of have to be in this place of self-confidence, of not allowing your loneliness make you forget your self-worth, essentially, right? Just because you're feeling lonely, just because you're feeling whatever way that you feel, do not allow that to cloud your self-worth. Do not settle for something that doesn't bring forth that happiness, that doesn't feed into the positivity in your life until you find that you'll attract those people, right? You just have to continue going, heading towards the finish line. Keep your eye on the prize, right? And while you go towards your prize, Leo, the people that are meant to be in your life that actually will fulfill you will come, right? Uh, King of Cups really says like the most trying thing this week for you, Leo, is just like, uh, not allowing something to spiral you, not allowing something to mentally or more so emotionally affect you. Have patience at this time with this temperance card uh, coming in. Also is talking about the yin and yang, that nice balance again for you. I really just feel like this emphasis, Leo, on making sure your emotions are balanced out. Make the decisions. I said that weird. Make the decisions, uh, Leo, in your life that make you feel fulfilled, that make you feel good, Leo, that you won't regret later. The moon card in the Ten of Cups comes in as like a nice reminder where it's letting you know of where even if you're losing hope, even if you're losing faith in your situation right now, Leo, like things are going to be looking really good for you in a very unexpected way soon. You may not be able to make sense, like, you, you may have like a vision in mind of how you want your personal life to be, how you want your life to be in general, but you don't see how it's even fathom, like how it's even possible for you to go from point A to point Z. You don't see how it's going to be, you just don't think it's realistic. But with that moon card coming in with that Ten of Cups, it lets you know from spirit that thing, you you don't know the full story essentially so don't lose faith so with that journal being done now i want to get into my leos that are interested in hearing about their love and social situation as well as my leos that are interested in hearing about their financial career situation so we're going to start with love for those that are interested let's see what's going on for my leos in terms of their love and social situations let's see let's see Ooh, honey. <laughs> so, for Leo's love and social situations, we have ego, the ego card number, or we're not doing numbers, Archangel Jophiel. I actually want to just point it out. Six, all your numbers that we came up for numerology is uh, a multiple, is, can be, is a multiple of three. Whatever the word is, like, you can go into three. Uh, eight of water or the eight of cups and the ten of earth so the message that's coming in for my leos is i kind of suspect the general message honey it's kind of referencing the situation here honey um 
<laughs> uh, jokes aside, Leo, because I know you're probably going through it. Uh, I know for my Leos for quite some time, you guys have been battling with just like this one person. And it makes sense if it's X energy. For months now, Leo has been having this struggle uh, with just like people in their life just kind of trying them and just really not being respectful. And I feel like this is kind of like your sign, Leo, of like moving away from a person. Uh, again, if you haven't, if you needed an extra sign, right, these cards are really just uh, emphasizing, Leo, that, you know, like, let's move on from this person, eat like, you know, like, keep it moving, right? If it's not, again, feeding into your Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Earth stability, move on from it. I don't see like this situation is though. So, yeah. <sighs> I'm being rough with you guys today. I apologize, Leo. I apologize. So now let's get into my Leos that are interested in hearing about their financial situations. What is going on for my Leos in their work? Right? Mm -mm. Let's see here. Hmm. All right. So you guys keep getting a lot of major arcana this week as well, Leo. Queen of Water or Cups, the Lover's Card, Archangel Raphael, number six, hello, uh, as well as the Balance Card, Archangel Zad Kiel. <sighs> Leo, for you guys, I'm getting this sense of, like, you guys have a tough decision ahead, and I feel like you guys need to, like, wait it out a little bit longer. Uh, with the Queen of Water, this lets me know of, like, the, maybe there's a situation that you're seeing a little bit too critically, and you need to just like wait it out, get a little bit more information, right? This card, the balance card comes in of where it quite literally says on the card, waiting for the perfect timing, right? The lover's card talks about a complex decision. And so I just feel like there's some type of situation financially in your life, uh, Leo, that you need to just allow more time to uh, have more stuff be revealed to you. Because you, you kept on having a lot of moon cards, remember, uh, come up in your reading. So a lot is... Uh, going on in y'all's lives right now that you are not quite fully seeing yet. But I don't, I don't mean this in an ominous way. But uh, yeah, Leo, that's the reading that I have for you this week. I hope you enjoyed this weekly horoscope. Be sure to let me know in the comments below. Give this video a like and subscribe. And then also, Leo, I do weekly tarot readings for all the zodiac signs. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, honey, send them one of my horoscope videos and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them. Until next time, though, Leo, I love you so much.